For our athletics is dedication. For our athletics is passion. For our athletics is hard work. What up, YouTube? What up, Rai Nation? It's your boy Kevin checking in for Raw Athletics. It is currently 7:30 on a Friday night, and as you guys can see, it is pretty dark. Um, it's usually like this so around this time of year in Ottawa, Canada, Eastern Time. Uh, yeah. So today we have legs. I know on Friday night most guys obviously want to train upper body. Obviously, they get a nice pump in, train arms, back, and chest. So when they head out later at night, they feel full, they feel tight. So obviously, uh, that's what happens when you get a nice pump. Anyhow, uh, exactly a few weeks ago, I've been feeling extremely tight, so I decided to take a deload. So that pretty much means I took some time off from uh, lifting extremely heavy because my lower back was in pain. The way I'm going to go about it is I'm going to start warming up. See how my lower back is responding to it. If I feel good, I'm probably going to push it as much as I can and see how far I can go. I'm probably going to push it to probably four or five pounds on squats and end up doing five by five for strength. If not, I'm probably gonna keep it low and probably end up doing some uh, three by 12, so some volume, just so I can keep getting the blood flow. So some high volume and some um, low sets. That being said, got my pre-workout in right here. Uh, I'm gonna end up with my boy Nick at the gym. He's gonna have me film. He's also gonna be doing legs. And yeah, gonna have some good time. So see you guys soon. All right, guys. All right, Raw Nation. Um, we finally made it to the gym, and as you can see, first exercise we got is squats. I mean, what better way to start a leg day with some squats, right? Anyhow, um, so as you guys can see, just swarming up, nothing crazy. Just getting a nice feel of how my lower back is uh, feeling to determine whether or not I can push for strength, like I said earlier, for a 5x5 five five and loading up the, the bar. Or if I'm gonna have to stick with just hypertrophy for some volume, um, if my lower back is still a little tense and still a little tight, right? So right now I'm getting a nice feel of it, and I can tell you it was great. And I knew from the, my second warm up set that I had it, that I, it was going to be a good heavy leg day. And a uh, quick shout out to my boy Nick on crushing the PR 215 for 5x5. Five five. Good work, homie. I know you've been trying to get it, and you finally have it, bro. Finally got it. Good work. Um, yeah, so the way I kind of go about my training is a hybrid of powerlifting to build that nice, solid, thick foundation, creating a base, and adding some accessory bodybuilding exercises to shape up my physique with um, leg curls, uh, the leg extension, uh, what else did I got to do? I did leg curl, leg extensions, some leg press, some calf raises. And yeah, that was just about it for that day. Usually I would add a bit more, but I mean, the 5x5 five five actually took a lot out of me. So anyways, it was still a good day nonetheless, okay? And I know a lot of bodybuilders I know aren't really a big fan of the whole 3x3 three three concept or 5x5. Five five. I mean, they're all about volume, 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 and hypertrophy. But if it works for you, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you can grow doing that, by all means. But for me, I've had a lot of success throughout my previous ball, doing a lot of 5x5 five and 3x3, three three, and I actually like it. I'm kind of an ego lifter sometimes, where big numbers are good for me, and I've been able to get big numbers through my 3x3 three three and 5x5, five five, so I'm going to stick to what works for me, and you guys should stick to what works for you, all right? I mean, it's, if you guys are listening to this and watching this video, so don't, don't, no hate, don't hate, all love, all love. Anyways, as you guys can um, obviously see, my form is just below parallel, all right? Um, when I'm going very heavy, I don't feel the need to break my freaking knees. <laughs> I mean, as soon as I start going 4 or 5 or above or 3, 15, 65 above, acid grass is something that bothers me quite a bit, especially on my knees because I'm a little taller. At, si at 6 feet tall, yeah, it may not, I may not sound like I'm the tallest guy, but I still feel quite a bit of pain when I start going below parallel on 365 or 4 or 5. I've tried it once and it was not a good feeling, so I'm going to stick to that, all right? Um, and yeah, so quick little tip also for when you're squatting is to look up. Find a nice spot and stick to it. Look up. Don't look in the mirror. I know a lot of people who are new to the gym, they kind of want to look in the mirror to kind of see how, they, how their positioning is and they got the right form. If you're new, you tend to want to look yourself way too much and that will honestly not help you at all. Because I'm seeing a lot of my friends when they start squatting for the first time, or women actually, 
by looking forward, you start to lean forward as you go down, which actually is horrible for you. But if you start looking up, it keeps your spinal cord aligned. So it makes it makes um your your, your squatting motion much better when you when you start going down. And trust me, your lower back will uh, thank you for that in the long run, okay? Uh, yeah, so as you guys can see right now, we moved on to the accessory list. Um, to pretty much, like I said, to shape our physiques. I was actually doing close grip on the leg press. You pretty much work my exterior quads, which is something that I wanted to work with. If I wanted to work my, uh, my interior quads, I probably would have, like, put my feet a little further wider apart but i really want to try to get my extra quads which is the reason why if you check the the when i was on the leg press my feet were close together and there's my boy nick working on uh, his um his uh teardrop sweep and just pretty much doing some single leg sessions while i actually decided to do the double leg sessions for me i actually just love doing double leg sessions. i'm much more comfortable doing so and right now i don't really feel like doing the single leg crunch to be honest with you and the fact that i had to take off the plates put them back on that was too much work well if you can see this machine all i did was pull the pin and adjust the weight accordingly to how much i kind of want to go to and um yeah i kind of went beast mode today well that day it was, felt really good i told you when i started warming up i knew it was going to be a great leg day and i'm very happy that the three week deload paid off um, cause I couldn't take it anymore. I was just sick and tired of going light on my squats and on my deads because my lower back was just, was, was not, um, was not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Jesus Christ. Was not, uh, anyhow, ah, brain fart. Uh, anyways, so, so right here we got one of the final leg workouts, the lay, lying hamstring curls. And that, my friend, was a burnout and a half. I felt that one. I kind of had a bit of, e of an ego when I thought I could load it up just because I did it with the leg extensions and let me tell you first rep destroy my legs Anyway, this is my final exercise the calf raises for three sets of 12 like everything else three sets of 10 12 I felt really great. I'm happy and actually my calves are one of the things I need to work on a lot Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah all right guys, so that's about wrapped it up for us. Had a fantastic workout, legs feel like noodles. I'm pretty happy about it. My back was kind of sore for the past couple of weeks and now it's feeling much better. And now, how are you feeling, Nick? Good, work. Uh, yo, well, that work was then today. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned quite a bit. Oh, by the way, as you can see, I'm Asian. I was right for my, for my city. And of course, for athletics. Let's see your sweater, bro. That's it. Let's see your sweater. That's it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Hold it down.